sound great. This is uh, Coronavirus Rhapsody? It is, of course, uh, the song from Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. You know, it's been changed to Coronavirus Rhapsody. These are members from Vancouver's Phoenix Chamber Choir. They're showing that uh, even though you're in isolation, you can still be creative. You can still write a song and execute it as well. Uh, they're hoping uh, to resume their, their choir season later on this year, but they're making the best of this uh, current situation. And they sound great. Yeah, that was fantastic. I'm going to check out the whole thing on YouTube after the show. That's great. And we're staying with our music theme here, Mary. Of course, there's no music concerts right now, so many artists uh, are trying to entertain their fans via social media. Jan Arden, uh, no exception. I think it's very unprecedented to live in a time in history where, where the entire planet is dealing with the same issue. Uh, it's not just a conflict in Syria. It's not just a war in some far-off country. It's something that oddly has united us in a way that we've not never seen in modern history. Arden join, joining the long list of artists from around the world playing from their living rooms. She's urging people to listen to health experts and practice social distancing. Many promoters are hoping to reschedule all of these concerts uh, sometime in the fall. Mary, I think I've seen Jan Arden four times really? in concert. Four times, yeah, she's I great. I think my mom has too. I've never seen her live, but I've heard wonderful things. She does have a great point, though. I don't think there has ever been a time where we have been so globally connected. I've been chatting with friends all all over the world that I haven't spoken to in years, so it has been really nice. And we need to find new ways to, to connect Mary and still have some fun. That's what a group of people did at Trout Lake in Vancouver yesterday. Take a look at this. And I was at Trout Lake uh, last week where there's all these messages on trees. How about a little bit of a dance party outside? Everyone's having some fun here, keeping their distance as well. <laughs> You know, there's some creative people at Trout Lake, like you said, the positive messages on the trees, a dance party, two meters apart. I love the little kids there, too. Here comes a soccer ball in a second, too, on the left-hand side of your screen. Wait for it. Wait for it. Maybe not. There it is. You know, in a time when so many things are just out of our control, sometimes you just have to sing and dance, right? It makes you, you feel do. better. And listen yeah. to music. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Greg. Uh, we'll have more BT coming up. Stay with us.